Hey, what's going on internet? Welcome to the Perspective 9. I'm making this video to show why building a desktop PC is absolutely stupid, especially in Canada and USA in 2023 with the prices that we have right now compared to laptops and servers and other scenarios. So Intel, Nvidia, AMD, Microsoft, Lenovo, Asus, MSI, uh, Gigabyte, uh, and all the other manufacturers, what the fuck? And let me show you why. Uh, here, on the left side, uh, by the way, we are recording this on 19th of December. We are both on Canadian websites on both sides of the screen. We have a Lenovo laptop here, i9-13900HX. Uh, on the left, we have the Intel i9-13900, the desktop version that comes with a cooler as well. Here we also get a license for Windows. Uh, we have 32 gig of DDR5 uh, RAM one terabyte of ssd and uh, this is actually upgradable to 64 same as the desktop size uh, we have a 2k screen uh, not bad but not great either i'm used to the 4k screens on a 27 inch monitor so we get a nvidia 4090 uh, i know that this is a 16 gigabyte uh, vram version compared to the desktop version that comes with 24 gig i couldn't find a desktop uh, uh, with 16 or laptop with 24. Uh, we have a um, camera, keyboard, mouse, power supply, battery, Wi-Fi, and everything else. So here on the desktop side, uh, I'll go over it again. We have the CPU, the graphic card. Uh, I just put the cheapest motherboard uh, of Z970 ordered by price. And then again, here we have DDR4 uh, RAM, 32 gigabyte, again, sorted by lowest price. And here, we are 3700 compared to 3798 and here you are missing the power supply you are missing the screen keyboard mouse uh, all of them are like at least uh, 100 dollars 150 dollars each here uh, with the laptop and not only you get the screen mouse keyboard all of that you also get the portability and you get the option of with the battery if uh, the electricity goes out uh, you can have enough time to uh, save your stuff. And from everyone that I know in my life, from music producers to people who work on AI, from software engineers to video editors, they all go with the laptop option because of all of those flexibilities. Yes, it's a little bit chunky, but not as chunky as a desktop. And you also have the portability and everything else. Now you might make the excuse of, okay, uh, what if I need to put two graphic cards in there? First of all, putting two graphic cards, because uh, I've done up to three in the past when they were smaller, it's uh, kind of hard because the first graphic card heats up really bad. And most people that I know, from myself to all the other people that I know who are, especially in the software industry, what they do if they need either rendering or uh, they need uh, AI options, uh, they go with a the server. They rent something uh, from AWS, uh, DigitalOcean or uh, Microsoft Azure. And Google's services absolutely sucks. I don't use them. I don't know anyone who does. And Google, if you're seeing this, what the f If you need me to make a video of explaining you why your cloud service sucks, uh, I can do that because I know you're losing money on that compared to the competition, but that's another story. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna send this video to all the manufacturers. Please fix this. That this is absolutely stupid.